Mirage. If you're, they only lost rounds really at the start of this when they were waiting for the money to reset. But the Molotov has done so much damage to the oh lineup from under. Pilus and C3 Star, they're on fire. Bomb is now going to go down. Molotov deployed, but it's just too little, too late. Now, there is a possibility here for Aura to be able to come back and still win this round. They need to make sure they retake this smoothly, though. Deflected there from Masuru. He doesn't miss those. He doesn't miss that one either. And he's looking for the third. Nope. You won't be able to get it. Thomas, don't know what you're doing there, mate. You're falling asleep at the wheel. You're crouching. You're standing there. You're not even shooting bullets. Don't stop the plant. Attack from the AK. Doesn't connect. Artemis pushing directly onto the site. Now, Friday going to be the first one to fall. Lemon on the defense, however. The pop flash is there. Lemon looks away. He's not going to be connected by it. Mad is down. And now it's all on Harper. Harper picks up one and does now have time to be able to get this bomb defused. He taps it once. Waits for Masur to peek him. Spots him out. Taps him down. A 12th round secured for Aura. Of the great individual performance from Harper. T3 Star couldn't quite make the jump across. TPO left in retake territory. Neff has found an opening. The fact that this player is still alive certainly means that TPO have a chance. Already got two headshots. Kemi deals with C3 Star from behind. And Kylis was just expected to turn up with another kill. A two on two. It's a bomb planted for Undyne. But they've got to find the kills. Oh. They've lined up for Neff. A quad kill. And they've got a kit. They get the defuse. They had the start going for them on Undyne. But they just fall apart.